Welcome back to Davey Dacus Guitars. I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, if you know how to solder, this is the wrong video for you. This video is aimed at someone who has never touched a soldering iron before, or who has touched a soldering iron and it did not look very good. This is just a few tips for you. I'll also tell you, it was raining like crazy all over Georgia today, including at the music store I was working at, and you can hear that on the tin roof. All right, YouTube, welcome to David Aikens Guitars. Today we're down here at Larry Daniels Music. We're going to be replacing the pickups in a Jaguar. So this is the situation we got here. I got everything open so I can see what's going on. Uh, if you're just starting out doing this kind of work, you don't really want to mess with anything you don't need to mess with. In this case, we're replacing pickups. You don't want anything else changed. So what I've done is just traced back these lead wires right here to their origins farther into the, uh, into the wire. And that's all I want to mess with today. So the first thing we've got to do is take all these old ones loose. Of course, remembering where they go. And get your iron nice and hot. It'll come off real easy like this. I'm just going to edit that. Or just uh, cut that uh, cut that one wire out. I'm just going to pull out this neck pickup and do this one at a time. That's what's going in. Pickups here, or Buddha hand wound pickups here. This is our neck pickup. I'm just going to refeed the wires back through here where they go, right where the others came out. All right, so now we've got everything on this side that we need over here. All right, so to get a good solder joint, first thing you're going to want to do, like I say, your iron should be nice and hot you don't need to be on any of these smaller parts or anything down here or if you're soldering on the back of a pot you don't really need to be putting any pressure with the soldering iron it should be hot enough it should melt the solder right away and I just got something I got a paper towel here you can use anything you want to really this is just to protect the guitar's finish because this solder can uh, splatter out sometimes just from being heated up you don't want that to happen so first thing you want to do is get a get this tinned it's what they call tinning get this tinned and you'll get some solder on the end of that joint or on the end of that uh, end of that wire it's going to be your solder joint and then down here I just like to reheat this get some fresh solder on there then since you got fresh solder on both of them it'll go right in there Hold it in place. Oop, I moved it too early. It'll cause fractures inside the joint. Just hold it in place until it's solid. There you go. You see the color kind of changed a little bit there. And she's solid. And then the same thing here. I'm going to do the same thing. Just tin it. We're gonna run this ground into this little ground loop we already got going. Just get a little bit of fresh solder on here. That'll help the solder penetrate a little bit. Now that section's tinned. And we'll just run this right over. And again, you don't need to be putting any pressure. You just need your iron hot enough and it'll be just fine. I'm let that dry good. A couple of pulling on it there. It's pretty solid. So that one's in there. Alright, see if I can get you a better angle on this other one doing here getting the irons nice and hot you don't have to apply any pressure with the iron let the heat do the work pulls right off of there this iron's super hot you can see it burned a piece of that wire yeah. and then that ground clip I don't want to desolder that entire ground clip so I'm just gonna snip it and other than that I can just pull this old pickup out get the new pickup in 
This is what's going in there. Showed you on the neck as well. This is the bridge model. Here's another example, just like we just did a second ago. First thing you want to do is tin these. Watch for that smoke off the soldering iron. If you do a lot of soldering, you want a fan or something to blow this away. I'm sure it's not good for you. Tell you, I've got a pedal from a custom pedal builder. The guy, there won't be any more of those because that guy died from brain cancer. I don't know if it was the soldering or not, but something to think about. So here, same thing. We got enough solder on this. Let the heat from that iron do the work. see that. I don't know if you could notice that color change or not. Let's see if I can heat it up again you'll see that color change back. Once that color's changed you're pretty solid. And the same thing here. Heat this up. Let the iron do the work. Put it right in there. to change. There you go. She's solid. As far as the wiring goes, that's all you really need to worry about. The last thing you want to do before assembly, I've actually already assembled this because I've already done this, is you want to just do a function check. Easiest way to do that is find your switches that activate your pickup, know your controls. That's all for this pickup. That's on for this pickup. Same thing here. Your other things such as tone you can't hear as well. But you can check them too. Volume. Hope you can hear that slightly modifying the sound there a little bit so all of our controls are working important thing with the function check not everything is going to work for this you need something that's a little bit magnetic um, for instance like here's my car key it doesn't work for this it barely you can barely hear it so you do want to make sure that whatever you've got is going to be magnetic or you'll think you've got something messed up and you really don't So this video is not really intended to be um, an advanced tutorial on changing out any electronics in a guitar or anything. It's really about basic soldering and how to make uh, wiring in a guitar look nice and clean. So I'll just go over again those steps. First thing is a hot soldering iron. Let it do the work. You don't want to be pressing on it. You tin your sections. Like let's say we're going to tin this together right here. Let's get a little bit of solder on this section we're going to tin or in the section we're going to solder. It's going to get that good and tinned. And back up here, since you've got fresh solder right here, it's still kind of warm too. It's going to go right in there. There's a nice clean solder joint. That's how you want it. That's how you want it done. All right. Anytime you're desoldering two, you can take that off. Let's say you need to solder two ends, the ends of two wires together. Same thing, same concept. You want these ends tinned. Something to hold them is super nice. I wouldn't call it a necessity, but it's definitely a luxury when you're doing something like this. Now this one has not been tinned, so let's tin it. Same thing, tin it. There you go, those two are nice and solid together.